Okay, so I have the this smaller uh, messenger bag slash purse slash uh, I don't know what you want to call it, but uh, satchel I guess. Uh, have it all printed out. I have some of the bigger pieces uh, taped together. Uh, some of the you know, the side pieces. This is the large main body side piece. I uh, got that taped together, and remember, the, you get the uh, the lines, and then the 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 little scissors in the circle. Make sure those line up uh, when you're putting it together, and things will come out right. Okay, so again, I have it taped down. I'm gonna start uh, punching out the holes. So that's probably your first bet. Um, this is going to be a little bit difficult more for me just because the, the leather that I have is, is curling up. So I need to make sure I, I flatten it, make sure it's nice and flat before I uh, cut it and maybe, maybe roll it the opposite way before I start. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to, we're going to punch out our, actually, since this is taped into one big piece, I'm going to cut these into individual pieces first. And then start cutting on the uh, punching out the holes. If you have room to punch out all of the holes uh, without cutting it, go for it. But uh, like I said, this one's this is uh, pretty. The the pieces are fairly large as, as for you know, trying to do it on one piece on, on a, one side uh, leather hide or anything. So uh, I'm gonna punch those out and I'll be right back. Okay, so. I got all the pieces uh, punched, all the holes punched out, and cut out the, the various pieces. There's the top with the keepers for the handle. There's the side piece, nice and long. Um, the side keepers can go there for the for the shoulder strap. Right, let's I got the buckles already kind of put together that can go there on the front the front pockets and I got the the front pockets front I got the sides ready to stitch stitch on there uh, the front of it inside pocket and the back uh, I, I love this leather. It's, it has such much texture and a lot of character, but it has nice, nice, uh, nice pull up on that. Look at that. It's, it's nice. It's gonna look cool. Anyway, uh, and then also got the the front straps. They're gonna fold over from the top flap into those buckles, and the sides that attach to uh, the side side flaps. Well, the side anyway. Okay, so I got these going. What I'm going to do first, I'm going to attach the buckles here. And once I have these here, then I will start with uh, the sides, stitching the sides uh, to the front piece. And so I'll go around there with this, and then I'll attach this to the front pocket. And I'll do that for the, both of these. That way, when I go to do, uh, when I go to work on the the side, uh, you know, the front will already be done. I won't have to worry about trying to stitch with this already attached to the back and trying to you know go in through the purse and, and do it from the inside. This will just be a little bit easier that way. So let's get started on that. And then once I'm done with this. Um, I'll probably work on getting the uh, getting the side. Well, I'll put these on here first, and then I'll get this stitched to the back. That also has will have the interior pocket. So I'll go around there first. Once I have that done, then I can work on getting the the front flap with all those holes attached to the back side with all those holes. So this is gonna be, this flat, front flap is definitely gonna be strong. It's not going anywhere. It has 
three rows of stitching. So that's going to be, it's not going anywhere. All right. So I'm going to start on this and, and you see what I'm going next and uh, I'll take it from there. Okay. Okay. So I have the pockets stitched on here and I probably did it the hard way. Um, uh, I did the side the side to the main body first and then put this on top and that was a lot harder and as I as I was looking at it I probably recommend and for future uh, you know, projects stitching the top to the side first and then you'd be able to run this stitch around a lot easier so with that in mind I'm going to take the top piece right here and start stitching it to the side. So that's what's next. Um, uh, you already saw that I have the 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 buckles um, riveted to the front pockets. So those are set, ready to go. Those aren't going anywhere. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to start here. Uh, I'm going to uh, fold my leather a little bit uh, before before I start stitching, just to kind of get it in that shape. Um, as so, I don't have any like weird weird uh, stitching going on as I go around here. Okay, all right. See you in a second. Okay, so I have the got the back side stitched to the side the sides here and you see that here I need to clean up the edges but I can I usually do that at the end when I'm about done but I got the back side it has the little pocket here and you'll see also I have the flap I put the flap on with these little stitch holders placement holders whatever just to get an idea of how it's gonna look you know how the placement of the, the the straps here and make sure that the placement of the handle is going to be lined up here so yeah it's looking good um i tried the the straps out here i think it's going to be just about right so uh, i have to put the top flap on um i need to put the side flaps in here as well which should be pretty pretty easy but uh, I wanted to show you that progress I got the back on and uh, positioning the top flap uh, just for placement purposes to make sure it's gonna look it's gonna look okay so yeah um, yeah I'm going to stitch next I'm gonna stitch along here and the bottom two rows as well. And once I get that done, then I will work on getting the side pieces with the D rings and then the side flaps that go here. Okay, see you in a second. Okay, so I have the top flap done. You can see here the, the, the one stitch along the top and the two right here. That's just a serious reinforcement on that top flap um you could probably put some heavy stuff in this in this bag uh i've seen uh similar ones that they and you could probably use it for a camera bag or books or, or whatever but so i got the top flap on um uh i got the the snaps here so i got those on i got the side flaps here stitched to the side you can see that there and so it's a pretty big pretty big interior i'll uh, i'll put some stuff here in a little bit so you can see how much you can fit in there but um so yeah got this got the top flap got the snaps uh what i'm gonna do next is um yeah i'll probably do the, the side the side here the side pieces with the d-rings um, I already got these uh, edged, yeah, beveled and burnished a little bit, uh, but I will 
and we can put these there. We've got the D-rings all ready to go. Um, put the sides, and then I will get to work on the the top, which I also have. I finished uh, uh, edging and burnishing a little bit, but they can be cleaned up a little bit more. And then I can work on the handle. Okay, so that's next. Finished it up. As you can see, I finished the the side tabs here, the top tabs. Uh, I finished the handle, uh, sewed that in there nice. Uh, then I went ahead and made the uh, the strap uh, with black. Again, it's what I had, but uh, you know, one inch, one inch D rings, one inch hardware uh, buckle. Uh, these are three quarters inch. Um, these are one inch. Uh, these are snaps actually. Um, and you know, one inch as well. The D rings and hardware there. So it's, um, it's kind of a larger, larger than, than I anticipated when I was designing this thing out. Um, but yeah, you could fit you could fit a this is going to be almost like a camera case if you really wanted it to or a large book bag slash satchel um but but yeah let me uh let me open the buckles real quick and show you the inside okay so here's inside of the flaps here got the two front pockets uh that are just open and then plenty of room uh, i'll measure it here real quick and, and, and show you. Let me find, here it is. So here's, here's a ruler. And that's about nine and a half inches wide by a little over five, five and a half deep. And from the bottom there, that's the bottom six and a half six and a half you know plus the top so six and a half seven uh tall so there's plenty of room you know these these pockets as well and there's plenty of room in here uh to, to fit stuff okay one thing i did want to mention um if for whatever reason you like the pattern but you don't like how deep it is or how thick it is uh, this pattern, this piece of the pattern that shows the, the side, just, you know, cut it from this width and make it, you know, instead of four or five inches, make it three inches. And then just, you know, cut the holes on the side the same, but the width of, of the side piece will be, be less. And then the, uh, you just, you just measure you know, a, an inch less on the side flaps. And then just, you cut those rounded or square, however you want. But uh, that's one one versatile way to just, you, you like some aspects of this, but no, nah, you want to you know, change it up a little bit. Same thing with the buckles. If you wanted to use uh, rivets here instead of snaps and actually make the, 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 uh, the buckles actually functional or more functional, I guess I should say, because they, they do work. Um, if you wanted to make you know, the hardware hardened or rivets there or some other type of fastener, um, I've seen some people use magnets uh, down here on the bottom, right? I've done that on one of my other patterns uh, or some other latch system. Feel free to. It, it'll work just fine. You just there's The holes there on the pattern uh, for reference and then you just put the hardware as, as you need it. Okay, so... So there it is. Oh, I also forgot on the back side. There is a pocket, just uh, an out, an outside pocket on the back that um, you know, goes up against the, the the bottom or the top flap. Uh, if you don't want this on there, or if you wanted to put this on the inside and make the little pocket on the inside, yeah, you just flip this around, take this, put it on the inside, no problem. Um, yeah, so yeah, it was it was a fun fun pattern. Hope you like it. Let me know if you have any questions or suggestions on how I could improve it even. Um, I'm always open to those. And I'll uh, include some 
some additional pictures uh, of it here just right now. Just for quick reference sake, uh, I just wanted to show like how much I could fit in here, like large stuff. So I was able to fit some snacks here in the pocket, uh, a notebook, a video, uh, video recorder, uh, an, a lens for a DSLR camera. So you can fit, like I said, you can fit quite a, quite a bit of stuff in here uh, and, and still be comfortable and, and, you know, take it around and, and, uh, look nice. So yeah, here we go.